rock and roll. We are trying tonight the brand new Impossible Cheesesteak from Capriati's. And we went over to the Capriati's on Union Street, which is the original Capriati's, the first one ever. Um, and it's very close to my house. And uh, it came out yesterday. It wasn't supposed to come out until next Tuesday, but they like released it early at a bunch of locations. And I'll preface this by saying, yes, I know it's cooked on the same grill as regular steaks. I'm not like, I don't have like stringent rules about stuff like that. Yes, I know it's not vegan. It's got cheese on it. Yes, I know you don't like fake meat. I get it. I'm okay with it. I'm not trying to make you stop eating meat. I just don't like to eat a lot of meat. And he knows that. And I don't stop him from eating meat. No. I cook uh, him meat. Right. I'm just, I don't like to eat a lot of meat. And so when I heard about this, I was really excited. And I've tried the Impossible Whopper. Um, this is my first Impossible cheesesteak. And if this is good, I'm probably not going to fit in this camera lens anymore. Oh, I'm wow. Gonna eat, I'm going to eat so many of these. It's going to be disgusting. I even got one. He even got one. Right, we're not gonna be blindfolding me this time. No, or you know like what that, you're getting right? into. Yeah, I know what I'm getting into. I know what I'm diving into. This is more of a food review, and we'll talk yeah. while we're doing it. A mukbang. 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 Okay. So, this is medium chicken cheesesteak that you got as backup in case. Just in case I don't like it. <laughs> this is my small. Impossible cheese steak, and it comes with American cheese, fried onions, and mushrooms, which I'm okay with. And Brian got the half, which is like a little one. And all together, what was our bill? 28 bucks? Yeah. Which, not too bad. No. You know. It's doable. I'm so excited to try this. And Capriati is like amazing, the Bobby sandwich, if you've never had it, it's like Thanksgiving on a roll, it's turkey, it's stuffing, it's cranberry sauce, mayonnaise, it's amazing. Yes, it's delicious. Okay, Would you? which one did you open up, the Impossible? Yeah. It does not smell any different than any other sub I've ever and had. It's cheesesteak, he's weird, he calls cheesesteak subs. So what I'm gonna- <gasps> It does, it smells just like a cheesesteak. You think so, they faked this out and gave us actual probably. cheese Probably. So I'm like not, suckers. I have salt and pepper because I like that, but I'm gonna try it first for that, anything. Okay, so, so you I can know. get a good, so I know. a good taste for it. Okay. You have this, I have a bucket over here in case I don't like it. You will like it. I hope you'll like it. There it is, close up. Looks just like any other cheesesteak. I'll Delicious. like it. See the steam coming off of it? I'll like it next video. You'll Yum. see me eating granola and all that other. I'm gonna get him. I'll get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Nope, not going in my. Mmm. <laughs> Did they give us cheesesteak? No, they said it was impossible. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so good. This is gonna be dangerous. I can't taste the difference. I'm eating there every night. Okay. <laughs> you prepared to have the fattest girlfriend in town. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. The next food review we do, you'll see the cameras back farther. <laughs> I start putting filters over oh. it. And honestly, it's not bad. I mean, I would get this. I love it. Oh my god. Mmm. If you told me this was not. It was just a regular cheese steak. You fall for it? I would fall for it. Or, it, like you said, it's actually a regular cheese steak. I hope not. Mmm. So good. Like, I'm trying to just eat the meat. Um, I don't, I don't think it's... 
what I should have got was a regular cheesesteak instead of a chicken cheesesteak. And then you could have compared? Yes. I think we did get regular cheese. I think we got regular cheese. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Can you taste it? Can you taste it that it, we're, we're not not able? But I eat fake meat all the time, and I love it. I'm okay with it. I normally eat Beyond Meat. I don't eat Impossible that much uh, because it is um, soy based, and I kind of don't eat that a ton. I'm like a big fan of the Beyond Burger and Beyond Ground Beef. Beef. Um, but this, this right here is delicious. Oh my God, this is good. And you know what's good? It's like you get that whole cheesesteak feeling. Like it's like the good, the kind of roll that's good. Like you bite into it, it's soft, but it's got that little bit of chewiness well, to it. And the cheese is delicious and the onions, the mushrooms. How, how I can tell you this is mm. not a real cheesesteak. How? Look what's not on the plate. Great. Yeah, there's no fat. So, unless they use the leanest of lean beef for their cheesesteaks, which I highly doubt, this is... Oh my god. Definitely. So I wasn't going to eat the whole thing. I was so convinced that I wasn't going to like it. Like it's... I can't taste the difference. Like to me, that tastes like an actual cheesesteak sub. Yes, they do. That sub is called cheesesteak hot. In the comments below, please. No! Why? Why? Because you're afraid I'm going to be right? No, maybe you'll stumble upon a pocket of your, oh your Midwestern God. friends who call Midwestern these subs. friends, right. He was born and raised in Baltimore. But he calls soda pop. I. He calls these cheesesteak subs. For once, I didn't. He's foreign. I meant... I don't know why I said it. I even said, why did I just say that? Because you're from Ohio. I am not from Ohio. No. It's a cheesesteak sub. Mm -mm. Is it on a sub roll? What? You put anything on a sub roll. Mm-hmm. Gotta make it a sub, brother. Mm-hmm. Cold cuts. Cold cuts. Put a hot dog on here. What do you call that? We're about to put cheeseburgers on there. It's a cheeseburger sub. Mm. It's a different thing. A cheesesteak is a whole different category. Please tell him. Please correct him. When you go to work tomorrow, I want you to, I want that to be the coffee break. You know what I'm is my boyfriend an idiot? <laughs> oh my God. Call now. I'm kidding. He's not an idiot. He's very smart, but he's wrong about this. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. All right. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to delve into the cheese steak. Capriani's, this is, this is good. This is a chicken cheesesteak, right? This is a chicken cheesesteak. Mm. I like chicken cheesesteaks. Mm -hmm. Because they generally don't have a lot of them. I always have to like, put the salt on my stuff. Do you need salt for yours? No. going in for the second half. I could have gotten away with just a half, but this is really good and I'm gonna finish the whole thing. Whatever. Mm. You good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a smoky chicken too. Capriati's is really good. I'm not getting paid to say this. They don't pay me anything. Um, I'm just a lifelong fan. Pay me in subs. I brought you your first Bobby, didn't I? Yes, you did. And you bought a bunch, brought a bunch of cold cuts too, right? To the firehouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first time you came to our firehouse, I think it was. Was it the very first time? No. I don't think so. No, I think it was. Maybe. Because you were coming back from a birthday party. That's right, I was wearing a white dress. Yep, I still have that picture. 
There's a picture? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Tell everybody what we're doing this weekend. We're going to Motorama in Harrisburg car show. Stop by. Not probably by the time you all see this. The no, yeah. It'll. We will either have won a trophy or goose egged. Um, Motorama it's Harrisburg. It's just fun. Motorama Harrisburg at the farm complex, whatever it is. Every year um, around Valentine's Day, it's. Um, one Valentine's Day. Well, yeah. Well, it's the second week of February, generally. The show's not until Saturday and Sunday, right? Yes. Setup is Friday. Friday. Um, huge, huge car show. Uh, they have battle bots, the remote control robots. They have a uh, cool. uh, dirt bike track. They do races in there. They have a huge flea market. It is it is definitely three days worth of, y'all need to check that out. You can just walk and walk and there's like something cool happening. In every hall. In every hall. Yeah. And it's just like car after car and car stuff to buy. And it's yeah. just amazing. Last year was what, 600 cars, something like that yeah, over there? Yeah, there was 600 cars. Yeah, so it was fun. Yes, it's I'm a looking lot of forward fun. to it. Yes, this is actually delicious. And we're going out Friday night for Valentine's Day up in Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. uh, we have reservations. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. I got us a really nice five star hotel of La Quinta. La Quinta? <laughs> mm -hmm. You did? Yeah, is this where you say you're sick and you can't go now? I gotta work. <laughs> She's got a walker goldfish, so she can't go this weekend. I'll film. We'll do a, a hotel room. Oh yeah. Tour. No, we're staying at the same hotels we stayed last year. It's very nice. It's really Which is pretty. Cool. Yeah. It'd be awesome. It's gonna be fun. It's actually really good views out of that hotel because you can look out over the river and the bridges that go across. Um, Harrisburg's pretty cool, actually. Yes. I'm sad. We can't eat at the place we ate at last year. Yeah, it closed. It's an old firehouse, and it was really cool. Like, tin ceiling, tin roof. Mm -hmm. You know, like ceiling and, you know, all that old architecture and everything. Spiral staircase. Spiral staircase. They still had, like, the pole in there. They mm -hmm. had pictures of the firehouse and all the fire equipment back in its heyday. And and the food was really good. Yes, and it smelled like an old firehouse. Yes. Too. And the service was amazing. And the crowd was, it was great. Everything about it was great. So, really sad. I don't know why that didn't make it. It was crowded as hell when we were in there. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Very strange. I can't believe I ate this whole thing. I'm getting ready to finish my second one. Yeah, but you only had a half. I have an eating problem. I got no problem with my eating. <laughs> I enjoy it. Mmm. Dang, this is so good. Can you hear Theo over there? Yeah. Everybody can hear Theo. He lets it be known. He has right. a bowl full of food, but this right. is going on up here, so he's jealous. Next time I get one of these, I'm getting... Like, I just wanted to go with the, what it normally comes with, which is the mushrooms and the fried onions. Next time I'm going with hot and sweet peppers, because I love hot and sweet peppers. On subs, on cheesesteaks, on everything. I will get hot and sweet peppers on a tuna sandwich. That's how much I love them. I'll put hot and sweet peppers on everything. They're oh. so good. Did you get hot? Yes. It's got um, just a little bite. Mm -hmm. A little heat. It's not bad. It's yummy. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm.
after this, we'll film the impossible run to the bathroom. <laughs> be some disclaimer don't drink beer and eat the impossible burger at this or the impossible sub at the same time it's made out of plants well i kind of am a vegetarian by proxy cows no. eat plants and i eat cows no that's not vegetarian that's kind of i'm actually saving your plants from the cows no <laughs> No. Um, so my review is that was delicious. Um, when we went in, uh, the guy was like, you know, we ordered at the counter. Of course, we're going in right at dinner time. And the thing has just been out for one day. Someone else came in and ordered hours. one. <laughs> I would say hours. Yeah, it's been out for hours. Um, and so when we ordered them, the guy was like, it's going to be a little bit. And we were like, cool you know we know it's a brand new thing that they probably just had to learn how to make and um but as always i'm appreciative when people make plant-based things that so when i go out to eat i can get stuff with everybody else i love that what i thought you were gonna i was getting my peculiar look i thought you were gonna say you love you know people work to cook food and you know uh -huh. never mind I love what? I did. I wasn't picking up what you were putting down. I thought you were basically saying that you're a tree hugger and all that. I'm not a tree hugger. I am environmentally conscious, and I am plant based, but I'm not militant about it. I'm pretty relaxed about it. You're relaxed. I'm not relaxed about a lot of things, but I'm relaxed about that. It was delicious. It was very like good. Like it? Yes. Well, I love their food anyway. Oh, I know. It's so good. So, but yeah, I liked it. It was it was good. All right, Capriottis. Yes, home run. Good job. Two thumbs up for that. It was so good. Make it four. Four thumbs up. Four thumbs up. And Theo even likes it, even though he he never had any. He of never it. had any of it. He just thinks he. He thinks he likes he thinks it. He likes it. He thinks every time we eat something, that's his favorite dish, and he has yeah. to have some. Give me. You right? have a bowl of food. We're actually leaning over talking to him. Yeah. So. So that's it. That's it. Go get yourself one. Yes. If, if you're available. Right. If you don't have a Capriotis, I guess you're going to have to drive north or south. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any in my neck of the woods. Boo! You should franchise. Well, there's one in, what is it, Graysonville, which is down by Ocean, as you're on your way to Ocean City, there's a Capriati. Well, that's a bit of a haul, too. Yes. Uh, there's one in Elkton. Yes. There's one in Las Vegas. Which is crazy. I thought you said it was closing. No. Oh, oh their promotion, if you bring a thing from... That's years ago, though. Yeah. Now they're... At, there's so many locations that they don't do anything in Vegas anymore with that. But yeah, they used to have a promotion. Wouldn't you would show your Delaware driver's license if you went out to Las Vegas to the Capriotis and they would give you a discount on your. Because they figured you blew all your money. You couldn't. <laughs> you could afford. It. Probably. Down on your luck. Probably. I do like that though. Every time that um, I go out to Vegas for the ACM Awards and we do those like three days of interviews, lunch is always Capriati's and it's like nice. a little taste of home. Home, it's yeah. so nice. Homesick. All right, that's it. Um, like the video. Please. Share the video. Yep. Subscribe uh -huh. so that you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Mm -hmm. um, please comment and tell him that we don't call cheesesteaks Horse subs. hockey. They were calling me a whore for a minute. <laughs> well, maybe later on. Hot deal. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, it's called karma. We don't call cheesesteaks subs yes, you around do. these parts. In these parts. So tell this in my parts, foreigner. We what parts? Baltimore? Yes. No. 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 Well, yeah, that is some... Tell them what happens Monday. Again, by the time you see this, this will have already have happened. 
Monday, yes. My tattoo? Yes. Okay. You're yes, I'm going to see Justin uh, at Helix Tattoo Lodge about having a tattoo done on my inner arm. Don't tell him what it is. Yet. I won't. But it's not a name and it's not a matching tattoo, haters. So I know you're gonna try to get your, your jabs in at me. You, you, you said you were gonna get a little fire on it. It's on my ass. <laughs> it's going on my ass. No, I'm just kidding. I can put that fire out there. Wow. Um, oh but I am gonna get a tattoo uh, on my arm here. So you'll have to tune in because I think Brian's gonna film me getting yes. the tattoo. And then I'm gonna try to get, get my sleeve finished. Yes. Or work on getting my sleeve finished. My guy moved to New Jersey. Yeah. So, which is a bummer because he was he was terrific. Justin so. is insanely good though. Um, so I'm really excited to get uh, him to work on me. Uh, looking forward to it. And um, yeah, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Toodles!